Congressman Huffman, what do you think about the chemtrails and geoengineering? Tara, and thank you for your service. Um, I wanted to submit these 82 pictures on geoengineering. Biological chemtrail. warfare. Are you following this topic? Terry, you're not going to like my answer on this. I can't admit I anything because I would accept for, liability if I did. We're probably going to disagree, but I'm going to take your pictures, okay? Thank I, you. I'll, I've taken all those yep. right the here in Shelter Cove. So you don't have that evidence Appreciate anymore. It. And um, NASA has come out in the last 60 days with lots of evidence saying that they're spraying us with all kinds of toxic chemicals. In Rhode Island, uh, John Price Justin. has introduced the Geoengineering Act of 2017, age 6011. And are you familiar with that? No, I'm not. It's a state state legislative uh, You are now because I just Island emailed I it to you yesterday. Okay. Well, it's a topic dear to my heart. I right. live in a house with lots of windows. I've I'm already watching emailed dirty you jets tons of information Someday on this subject last the year, Jared. They've been spraying today. Many of you may have noticed. Another thing I want to just briefly mention is the lawsuit, the DNC primary lawsuit that's happening and what you know about that. Okay, this, again, I think is for the state party chair. It's a, a recount thing. Okay. And the other one that's really dear to my heart is the SB 277, Forced forcing vaccination. vaccinations on children. And uh, Richard Pan has a new one in SB 18. You don't get paid that's for that. That's further taking parental rights away from us. Okay. So those are three big topics for All right, let, let me touch on all three. And, uh, you know, we may have found that point at which you start to throw shoes at me or something. I don't know. But uh, on, on the point. issue of uh, the folks who are concerned that the vapor trails from airlines are geoengineering and They're chemical not airlines. Uh, broadcasting, that, that it's a global, I've had, uh, that it's a global conspiracy. I don't buy it. So uh, I have looked into management. it. Uh, honestly, uh, in a day and age where there's not even something President Trump can think that doesn't get leaked out. The idea that we yes. would keep this secret around the world in a conspiracy it's of every country in our own government, I think it's we'd know about it. it. Um, I don't think it's happening. And there's also pretty valid scientific explanations that I've heard for what you those want to reset, vapor footprints the are. But look, if, if you've got something new and persuasive, I'll take a look. I don't want to ever completely close my mind to anything that might be going on out there, but I just want you to know that I have looked into it in the past. I'm not persuaded that it's actually happening. Um, no need to perssuade you. Just don't let them do it. Very much. On the, it's on the not state ethical. Party, uh, it's chair illegal. Issue. Yeah, there's a, there's a recount underway and some kind of a legal proceeding. I don't know the details. Again, I've tried to just stay out of Whoever emerges as the validated chair of the state. Radio frequency transmissions affecting the cloud formations. And we have staggering photos of this, and they'll explain this away. For example, meteorologists on the Weather Channel, I, I, I don't know how they look themselves in the mirror or their children in the eyes, but they will explain this away as some sort of natural phenomenon when clearly our sense of reason should tell us it's not. So the particulates in the atmosphere are manipulated with radio frequency transmissions. And the goal, again back to the why, on solar radiation management to expand available moisture into the widest cloud canopy possible. And although that deflects some of the sun's incoming thermal radiation, it also traps it, it shreds the ozone layer, it disrupts the, disrupts the hydrological cycle, and it renders toxic every single breath we take. More cloud formations, again, especially if you look at some blocked out areas where there's 90 degree corners blocked out of cloud cover, that's from radio frequency transmission. You can't get that kind of configuration naturally. Meteorologically speaking, you don't need to know much about meteorology to recognize that. Square cloud cut into stripes on the top. These are all completely unnatural phenomena. Radio frequency transmitters. Every, we know that a lot of people are fighting the far frequency from phone transmissions, correct? And that's certainly a problem. But the transmissions from some of the weather control on the cell towers, the next red towers that all of you see in town and cities and so forth, we know there's about 10 times more power being pumped into those facilities than they need. And they're, they're, the power transmissions from those facilities show up on radar maps for precipitation. We know they're being used with these programs. So the bottom line is we're being exposed to much more radio frequency transmission 
than we realize or certainly it's even being disclosed and these facilities also are tearing holes in the atmosphere quite literally in fact there's a documentary called harp holes in heaven it's a very good documentary you can watch in full online narrated by martin sheen will explain this phenomenon even more harp facilities around the globe again the military has a document called owning the weather and that's a very revealing document at their attempt to use weather as what they call a force multiplier and we have a long history of the military using these weapons to control populations and why would we consider this anything less in california and in the case here if you search drought engineered drought in california you can find much more data but we know we know that the drought in california is a direct result of climate engineering not climate change not that climate change is not real it's ex it's extremely dire much more so than al gore has ever said we're, we're facing what would be more correctly categorized as a climate shift an abrupt climate shift in fact the latest frontline data we have indicates that on the current trajectory we may be looking at an eight degree c rise by 2025 no complex organisms survive. Eight degrees C is about 16 degrees Fahrenheit. On this trajectory, that's where we're heading. Yes, it couldn't get much more dire than that. But what does that mean, that we sit down and do nothing? It means we do everything we can to try to expose and halt these programs which are fueling that fire. But, like all federal agencies, is to hide these threats from the public. That's literally what their job is. And we have a system that's full of order followers. Is Kevin, who's, for those of you that haven't heard Kevin speak, CIA officer Kevin Shipp, who would not go along with the system that tries to mask these threats from the public. Because who would have the right to engineer our climate and make our force look like that? And that's that type of sky our society is.